Now I'm a converted, what would you call it, Western? Yeah, Western, Western romance. Lover, Western romance lover. Yep. Like, I'm here for it. Welcome! Welcome to... Oh, <laughs> you can go for it. <laughs> Welcome to Fizz and Fiction. Where besties bond over books. We're the besties. I'm yes. Kristen. And I'm Spencer. Hello. And... Getting some fizz on. I made a mimosa. The first one that I had was not good. Mm. I did less orange juice this time because I think it was the orange juice that was killing it. Um, let's taste yeah, it. Yeah, give us a taste test. Give us a rating. Oh, it was way better. Oh, good. I put way too much orange juice in that first one. That's a rookie mistake. I know. Honestly. I think I did like a half and half thing. And I'm like, who does that? Who does that? Not us. Not, no, not us. <laughs> Mine's just coffee. Oh, awesome. So, we're here today. To talk about the first book in the Chestnut Spring series called Flawless. Flawless. There's a lot of lesses in this book series. There are. That's why I had no idea which one they call us. It's very hard to keep them straight. You know what's so funny is um, that powerless book that the by um, Lauren Roberts. There, it's like powerless, reckless, yeah, fearless. It's like the, they just released number three and it's fearless. Oh, and it's, it's like it? literally three of her same book titles. <laughs> I mean, completely different genres, oh, obviously. Oh, yeah, 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 But I was just like, what? That's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, so I'm, uh, Spencer's been reading these for a while. And, like, I wouldn't say that you were trying to convince me to read them, but, you know, you talked about them enough mm -hmm. uh, where I was like, you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's try out these. Yep. You need a, you need a small town cowboy-esque cowboy romance in your life. This is what you need. <laughs> but you know what surprised me? They're in Canada. I know! <laughs> We're in Canada. They're in Canada. They are. They're like over in, um, I think in British Columbia. Yeah. And like, I mean, I guess like if you think about it, like the West would just continue upward. It's not like, oh yeah. It's not like they, the nature knows where the line is. Like it yeah. makes sense. I mean, like, like our like national parks that are like in Montana and North Dakota and all that kind of stuff would extend. Yeah. 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 They're just like Canada stop. Yeah. So it makes sense. But it was just like, oh. That's so funny. We're in Canada. Yeah, we are. We're, we're in Canada. And I actually, I haven't looked. I'm just gonna assume she might be Canadian. Oh, I think she is. I think she has to be. Yeah. I like. I don't know why you would just randomly write about. Maybe she just loves Canada. <laughs> She's just like, oh, Canada. That's the only part of that. I know. I'm a Canadian romance officer who lives just outside of Vancouver, British Columbia, nice. Nice. with my husband, son, and three dogs. Nice. Fun fact: Her. This is not necessarily <laughs> book related, but talking of I love fun fact. Elsie Silver. Yeah. Um. Fun fact. Her name is on my baby name shortlist. The whole name? No, no, no. Not the whole name. Oh, <laughs> that's, a, well, that's a coincidence. That'd be the biggest coincidence <laughs> ever on earth. <laughs> Was it before or after you read her? Oh, before. Oh, yeah, because... My dad's yeah. name is LZ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With a Z. So you make a girl name. And I make a girl name out of it. Yeah. So I was like, oh, just I'm a connection in another way. Yeah. You know, you know I know your name's not Summer, but the main character's name is Summer, yeah. and you often, her last name is Sumner. Oh, I connect with her as well. I get called that so Constantly. much. And it's so funny, because people feel so bad when they, they call do. me that. I can instantly see it or hear it in their voice. They're like, oh, I meant, I meant Spencer. Or, or they'll say, oh, I meant Sumner. Oh, Spencer. And yeah. it's so funny. It's just like, it's entertaining to me at yeah. this point to watch because yeah. just like, just to watch them fumble around, I'm just like, yeah. you'll get there. Suffer. No. <laughs> you'll get there. <laughs> it's too funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a little fun fact there. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So this is first book in the in Chestnut Springs and yeah. it is um, Enemies to Lovers, I would say. Yeah, definitely. Enemies to Lovers trope. So Summer is, um, she works for her dad. Mm -hmm. He's like a manager, PR. like PR person yeah. for like celebrities, like talent, stuff like that. Yeah. And his, one of his like prized, um, athletes, clients. I guess you can call it, yeah. Yeah, I'll be calling athlete. athlete. Is a bull rider mm -hmm. named Rhett in Canada on the <laughs> Canadian bull riding circuit. <laughs> and, um, Rhett has some problems with his, obviously his persona. He's, <sighs> he's got some, he's got to do some work. Because he's getting in trouble. <laughs> but the, the the thing that sends him over the edge is that he was caught on camera saying he hates milk. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I forgot that. I forgot that was what the that's, original that's, premise was. Yeah. And, like, the dairy farmers of Canada are pissed. pissed. 
It's so funny. It's so funny. It's such a, like, it's such an outlandish thing. Yeah. But, you know, people, I remember this, um, a little tangent here. I remember this plot line on the West Wing where they were like, you have to pretend to like green beans in this state. Oh. And they're, and then one of the, his people are just like, he doesn't like green beans. Just like, get over it. <laughs> That doesn't mean he hates you for making them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but no, so yeah, it funny. is. He did. He said he didn't like milk because, and I know that oh, it's not a spoiler. We it was just the premise of the book. But there's that one point where they're like sending over milk drinks. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's so funny. Oh yeah, like something like a white Russian. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So not a spoiler. <laughs> he like assigns his daughter to basically babysit him. Yeah. Until he gets to like some championship. Las or something. Vegas, like yeah, fine, like yeah. basically for the rest of the season. Yeah, because he can't do any misstep because then he might lose his sponsors. Because he has already lost one big one. Because like the dairy people were sponsoring. Yeah, him. yeah. <laughs> Um, so that's how we, like, get set up with them, um, kind of being each other's circles. And he's, like, been known as, like, a ladies' man, and, like, mm -hmm. they're trying to, they're just trying to make him, like, more clean cut. Yeah. More of a... Yeah. Kind of spruce up that reputation. Yeah. But, yeah, that is, yeah, that's how they get together. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so she goes out to Chestnut Springs, which is where he lives. In Canada. In Canada. <laughs> and, um, that's where their love story ensues. Uh, uh. Okay, so I don't, I didn't, I don't have any notes for this, but overall rating. I mean, it was really good, like, as far as, like, like, romances go. Like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'd give it, I mean, and I love enemies, enemies lovers. I'd probably give it a four or five. I'd give it a four or five, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a solid. Solid read. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. And it's a good starting off point for all the other ones in yeah. the series. And I'm excited to continue the series. Yeah. Um, but if you haven't read the series or this book, go away. Skedaddle. And come back. And come back. Now we can get into it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, my favorite character is obviously going to be Red. Yeah. <laughs> he was great. He was bull he rider. <laughs> when we sleep, you'll see a bull riding competition. I know. And this baby want to do it even more. Even though now I know how dangerous it is. Yeah. It's. It, I don't think I can marry a bull rider. No. Now. Well, that's one of my. That's one of my questions. Oh. <laughs> Would, would you ask... Okay, so, like, one of the big, like, catalysts in this book, yeah. the conflicts, is um, his whole family wants him to quit bull riding because it's yeah, so dangerous. They never wanted him to start. Yeah. yeah. They're like, it's dangerous. You're going to kill yourself. And their their mom died. So, I think that it's, like, a... Yes. Um, Did she die from a horse? She... Yeah. Ooh, no. That was somebody else. Uh, oh. You're not going to get there yet, but somebody else's parents died, like, on a horse. <laughs> um... No, she didn't die on a horse. I can't remember how she died. She died really. She might die in childbirth. He, he definitely didn't know her very well. Yeah, the oldest brother no know, knew her, but yeah. Rhett was like younger. He did yeah. not know her, know her very well. I'm getting them all kind of confused on mine. That's fair. Um, That's fair. But his whole family wants him to quit bull riding. They're yes. like, it's like a point of contention. They won't come support him. They won't watch they, him. Oh yeah, they don't come. They're like, we're we are not for this. Yeah. Um. They don't even like ask him like, how was your ride? Nope. Um. They like, basically basically ask like it act like it doesn't exist. Yeah. Um. So he gets she's like comes to the ranch and she starts to kind of like, ingrain herself in his life. Oh, I like his dad a lot. Oh, his dad's great. I like his dad a lot. His dad. Sure we'll get to see more of him in the other books. Yeah, yeah, his dad's just like this old like wise man that's just like we'll say anything because he's like, what do I have to lose? Yeah, and he loves his family so much. Yeah, that's great. Um, but one of the, one of my questions was, would you ask? So eventually in this book, she he gets hurt, like hurt. Yeah. Well, he's and like he's he, he's injured the whole book. He's like, yeah, his he's shoulder, like hurt. Yeah. his shoulder. Like, they keep like having because she makes him go to like physical therapy. She's yeah. Like, you won't stop riding at least. So at least yeah. Do this. But then he gets hurt. He gets oh he gets um he he tries to save the younger kid. <gasps> yeah. He gets thrown off the bull and he gets the brunt and he gets the brunt of the because um, he shields him with his body. Yeah, which sounds so dangerous. It does. I'm like, how did you not die? Yeah. Oh, okay. At this point, they're like kind of together, or we're together or whatever. And she, she watches it on TV. Yeah. Then. And she's basically like, you need to stop this. She doesn't, I don't feel like she doesn't necessarily give him like an ultimatum, but she's like, you need to stop this in there. They kind of like, they kind of break up ish. Um, because he's like, you don't understand. I'm going to keep doing this. 
Yeah, so she actually watches it happen on TV because they had just gotten in a fight. Yes. And then she goes to the hospital, and he says mean words to her about <gasps> being just like a hookup. Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot. Okay, so... Yeah. Sorry, I, I read this more recently. as well. And I've read all the books, yeah. so I get them. And her... She is the one where her sister's husband is like... Um, Oh, the, oh my god, yes. That's like, a huge storyline. That's a good twist. It's a twist within a romance book. Yes. It's like... It was, it was so good. Oh, it was Which brings so me to, good. do you think this book has a good mix of plot and, and spice? I do. Yeah, I that do. was like, I was like, oh my god, we're getting like some good stuff here. Yeah, because literally she, you, she, she's getting these phone calls from like an ex-boyfriend. Yeah. And she has this interesting lease on life because like she got sick and then like was in the hospital, thought she was going to die. So she's always mm -hmm. like this was my last moment on earth yeah like, is this what i want to do like would i be happy yeah um which is like finally like, that's nice yeah um and and she he keeps calling and he keeps calling yeah. and she's like he does this just to like keep me on the hook like she tells rhett this yeah and he's like f that guy yeah like that's their first kiss is in front of him oh yeah, 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 yeah. she like wants to make him jealous and we know that he's a doctor and we do know that her her sister's a doctor too yeah at this hospital so when he gets hurt he gets, oh no, he gets hurt, she's not, okay, sorry, the, her, her dad, dad has, has a heart, heart attack, attack, and that's why she's she with her dad, the hospital. watching on TV is why, that's why she's there. Yeah, but at some point, Rhett comes to the hospital, realizes that the guy who, like, was basically grooming her, which I don't think they ever had, technically had a sexual relationship, I think. Not until she turned 18, they said yeah. that. And, but he, like, basically, he was her doctor. He was her doctor, like, saving her life when she was in the hospital yes. at, like, 16. Groomed her. Groomed her. Had, like, a little, like... When she turned 18, they kept in contact. She turned 18, and then they had, like, a relationship. Like, yeah. Like, a hookup. Not even a relationship. Yeah, not a relationship. And then he ends up marrying her sister. Yeah. Who she has a bad relationship with because it's a half-sister. The sister doesn't know about any of this. No. And then Rhett basically outs her at the hospital. He's like, he's like, what? What, what do you mean? Yeah. Oh my god. It's yeah. such it's like I feel so bad for her. Like she's right, like he shouldn't have done that, but I was but I was like, Yes. Oh. Uh, read him. Oh, absolutely. And then the sister's like, I'm pregnant and I'm like, F Oh, I know. I feel so bad for her. I do too. Yeah. But yeah. I don't She's got we, her own she's got her own book. Yeah. What were we talking about? Yeah, he gets oh he gets hurt. We're still about we're still on the question about Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he gets hurt. Um and she's like she, she doesn't really she never really tells him, like, to you have to stop writing because he loves that about her, that she never says that. Yeah. But but she's like, I can't. I can't watch you anymore or something. So yeah. he doesn't think that she's going to come to his last show. And she does. And she does. But when he sees her. Oh, he doesn't get on. He's like, she matters more. Than me busting my brain. Because he saw her face when she came to the hospital and he was hurt. Yeah. And she, he was kind of like, I never, like, want. Mm-hmm. I guess he didn't care about his family feeling that way. But yeah, but love like, my life. <laughs> but, like, I know he never wants to, like, make her feel that way. And he realizes that, like, her love is all, like, the, I guess, like, he's been trying to get attention this whole time because he's, like, the youngest kid. Yeah. Um, he's like, now I have it. And he has it. Would you ask the love of your life to give up a dangerous dream? That's so hard. Like, if they were a professional, like, I'm trying to think of, like, paragliding or, like... I, I think it depends. I think if it's a dream you had before I met you, that's not fair for me to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if you're a bull rider and I fall in love with a bull rider... Yeah. I know what you're, like... That's part of... That's, probably part of the reason why I like you. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I wouldn't in that case, but if it's, like, I fell in love with you, we got married, we had kids, and then all of a sudden you were like, Kristen, I want to live out this lot this new dream of mine of being a like a skydiver and that just instructor. sounds like a midlife crisis i i <laughs> think that i have every right to be like can you not <laughs> I <laughs> can sign you up for not? this <laughs> yeah i think there's a difference there yeah i think so too yeah. would you yeah you, uh i i was you asking us up i think if I think it also depends, like, a lot of, like, circumstantial stuff. Like, if we had kids... That's different, yeah. I'm like, I'm not raising these kids by myself. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's reevaluate. And also to that point, like, age. Let's, like... Yeah. I'm not bouncing back like right. we used to. Like, I, if you were still 20... Yeah. Like, we probably sure. all have kids at that point. Exactly. But if you're 30, 
Four. I think he's like thirty-two or three. Yeah, he's like, like he's like mi- early to mid thirties. He's he's our age, so yeah, we're not quite. But, and it's like older, I think, in like the bull riding. That's what he said. He community. said he mentions that a few times. Yeah, and I'm like, if you're like not a spring chicken anymore, I'm sorry. Like mm-hmm. I, we're not spring chickens anymore. No. And you're doing this when there's like other avenues to like still be involved. Like he becomes a coach. He becomes a coach. And he loves that. Exactly. Aspect of it. Like you can still be involved, but like let's leave it to the young guns. I think that it's almost like a pride thing. And like I think yeah. you see this more in men, no offense. Like like I think that they like can't quit. They like feel like they yeah. can't do it. Or they like, want to like go out on my terms, which I yeah. think is good for the end of the book because he's like he like kind of went out on his terms. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. And like of course, like if you get like what you like want at the end of these kind of books, obviously. Yeah. But like I think like in real life, it's like you have to like kind of suck it up a lot of times and like get mm-hmm. over this pride thing in your ego Absolutely. to like make choices that are reasonable. Yeah, you're an adult. Sorry. Right. Exactly. Oh, you know. Would you want to live in a place like Chestnut Springs? Of course! Absolutely. I'd move there tomorrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had, so I was at my family's yesterday, um, and my uncle's, like, wife, um, has a place in Montana. I literally, and she was telling my parents that they could go up there whenever they wanted to, and I was thinking to myself, can I get in on this? Excuse me? And, like, she said that literally there's a, um, she said it's, it's in the dead center of Montana. She's like, there's a hotel that has a plaque that says we are the dead center of Montana. Um, oh my gosh! And she was about how beautiful it was. I was like, of course it's beautiful. We need to get in. I know. I, I'm, I'll work on it. I'll work <laughs> on it. Um, she was saying how like she was just up there and they were like finishing like remodels or remodels or something. Man, hell yeah! I know. And I was like, but no, we talked about Montana before, like Wyoming, like oh, obviously yeah. this is Canada, but like same, same vibes. Vibe. Um, I think I could do it. I think that like I've like. I've enjoyed my city life thus far, my suburban life. Yeah. I think I could be a cowboy Kristen at one point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can ride. I mean, I ride horses. Cowgirl Kristen. Cow person. <laughs> Cow person. <laughs> Cowgirl Kristen. Oh, man. What about you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yes, yes. What well, was your role be on the farm or on the ranch? The ranch. The ranch. I like physical labor. I want to be like hauling hay. Hauling some hay. Yeah. I'm I wouldn't sure. be, like, training the horses or anything like that. See, I think, I, I think I'd be the horse person. Yeah, I'm not, like, a huge h- horse. I'm not, like, scared of them, yeah. but, like, I'm not also, like, 100% comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love horses. I think I told you this. My dad was telling me that, like, we moved out to the country when I was about, like, 10, and I really wanted a horse. Um, that sounds, like, so, like, pretty Madonna. Like, <laughs> Daddy, I want a horse. <laughs> Uh, um, but I was taking riding lessons, um, and he, but he was, didn't go buy you a stable. He didn't go buy me a, <laughs> for a horse. Yeah. But I, he was like, I was really thankful that he turned sixteen and wanted a car instead because uh, we were real close to like getting a horse. getting a horse for you. And That's I was funny. like, oh, damn, yeah, yeah, <laughs> just um, missed it. No, it's probably for the best. But I do love horses. Yeah. And I'm cows and goats. Oh, you want your goat farm? Go farm, man. Yeah, yeah. That could be that could be your your shtick. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I would definitely move there. Oh, I'm man. excited if you read the rest of the series. I know. We, Which one's your favorite? We what? accidentally read them out. I accidentally read them out of and order. And then, thusly, I read them out of order. I didn't know you are supposed to read. I think it's called the... Um, oh, man. Hold on. Let me see what the other series is. It's her first one. Yeah. And I didn't realize I read it out of order. Golden Rush, Gold Rush Ranch. Gold Rush Ranch. That series is the first. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize that. Because uh, they were all over TikTok. <laughs> yeah. And, like, that's usually, I mean, it probably happens a lot. Like, you're, the author blows up with, like, not their first series. Yeah. Um, so, um, my favorite is... Yeah, which one do I have to look forward to? Um, oh, or where does this one rank? I guess that's a good question. Where does this one rank in terms of those five? There's five of them, isn't there, in this there's one? There's five of them. Um, hold on, let me I don't look. have context, but you would. Yeah, let me, I need to, like, look at their... The names. Yeah, like, I had to look at the names. Yeah. I think my favorite, my top two okay. are the next one, okay, which is his older brother. This is the one with the kid? Yeah. You know, it's so interesting because I'm not a big, like, widower, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with a kid. Oh, I like the single dad trope. The single dad, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so like, this will be my first single dad trope one. Maybe I'll fall in love with it. Who knows? Yeah. I like the single dad trope. Um, that one. Okay. And number, so number two 
And number, I think it's four. Okay, which one's the four one? Four is, yeah. Four is, um, four is Winter's book. Her Winter. and one of the other people, the, her sister. Oh, Winter gets a book? Winter gets a book. And you like it? Yeah, it's oh, good. Oh, wow. It's good. I hate her right now. It's good. Oh, I'm excited. It's a good book. Yeah. Okay, that's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah. And then the other one is, the last one's the youngest brother, the war, the military person. Oh, okay. And then number three, I dropped my phone. Is, it, do they do, do they like mix into like hockey in this too? Because like they have his old friend or is his friend from another series that she does? Ja, 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 oh, ja, ja, ja. that's the third one. That is the third one? Okay. And it's good. Uh, she does hockey, he's, a hockey, he's a hockey player. She does hockey romance too, doesn't she? Or is she not? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Just kidding. Just has a right in hockey. I mean, it is Canada, so what are you going to do? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just... <laughs> but I think the third one, I think he is a hockey player. He's the goalie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you meet him in the first and one. And that's the third one. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's good. Who's the fifth one about then? But the third one is, like, friends to lovers, so it's fun. Oh, that yeah. was not as fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. The fourth one, Winter's book, I mean, do you want me to tell you, like, who the person is? Yeah. It's the, it's the guy that he covers. It's the young, like, the young How big of an age difference is that? I don't know, but it's good. Because <laughs> like, I like that kid a lot. Yeah. But yeah. he's a kid, and she's his older sister, her older sister. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the age difference is. Okay. I mean, get you, get you some girl. Get you some girl. Yeah. All right. Is uh, she a single mom in it? Yes. She has a kid? Okay. Okay. Maybe, I don't know, I don't mean to be anti-parent, I just like the kid had such trouble. <laughs> such <laughs> well, the dogs are so cute. <laughs> they are, they are, they are. No, I'm excited to read. So, yeah, so this one's, um, so, of the five, where would you put this one, then? Um, your top two? I'd put it third. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Friends Lovers is always just going to be my least favorite. I know, same. Yeah, it's a good book, but yeah, it's yeah. just kind of like, mm. yeah. No, I'm excited to keep reading them, we'll, we'll keep doing them, um. And then, yeah, I'll have to go back. Have you read her newest one? She's like, two new, like a new series. No, The Wild. Yeah, I don't know if they're connected Wild at all. Love or mm -hmm. something. No, no I haven't read those yet. came out. Um, I don't know that they, they might, I don't know that they are connected. connected. I can't remember. Maybe like, like, so like barely, you know? Like yeah, barely like, that like a hint of it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, exciting. That was fun. I, I'm now, I'm a converted <laughs> What would you call it? Western? Yeah. Western, Western romance. Lover, Western romance lover. Yep. Like, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Cheers to Chestnut Springs. Cheers to Chestnut Springs. May we visit there one day. Yes. Mm. Uh, and yeah, thanks for joining us today. Next week, you can catch us back here with Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. Yes. Yes. The the ending of that duology. We're really of excited the about it. Rivals duology. Yeah, I'm pumped yeah. for it. Yeah. Woo cool. Have a good one. Bye.